Rubino produces a weekly show where she interviews diverse people in STEM as a way of showcasing the different opportunities that are out there for students. She has also organized trips to various STEM centers, has been guest speaker for numerous organizations, and is the author of In the Know, Setting Up Your Child for a STEM Career. She is a biologist, teacher, speaker, host, and is also currently on the board for STEM, I mean Self East STEM, a nonprofit that focuses on encouraging young girls of color to learn about and pursue educations in STEM. With a background in science, Kat Rubino also helps with creating and implementing science programs and opportunities for the Bay Area youth. Kat Rubino is diversifying and demystifying STEM. She is diversifying and demystifying STEM through her consulting business, In The Know Consulting, LLC. In The Know Consulting offers presentations to parents, teachers, and students on the importance of STEM education, as well as identifying key players within these fields. Each presentation leaves the audience with inquiries about STEM, as well as a better understanding of the next generation science standards, commonly called NGSS, that schools must implement. She also promotes awareness, provides networking opportunities, and utilizes media to engage everybody and everyday people into the lives of STEM professionals. With experience in K-12 and undergraduate education, networking, mentoring, and media, In The Know Consulting is providing materials that are leading our next generation into the STEM world. And now I present you to Kat Rubino. Congratulations to the class of 2019. You have so much ahead of you. You just don't know. Um, I want to give you a story, of course, because as a commencement speaker, I must talk about myself. And I want to say that I too sat in your shoes 19 years ago as the class of 2000 when I graduated from an open public school. I spent all of my life growing up in Oakland, and during that time, Oakland was seen on the media as a very negative place. This was the place that we saw a lot of shootings, a lot of killings, and if you ever left the Bay Area or the state of California, and you said you were from Oakland, they questioned your intelligence, they questioned your education, and they questioned your background. But, being from Oakland also gives you plenty of opportunities. When I was a junior um, in high school, my, one of my teachers gave me the opportunity to join a program called the National Youth Leadership Forum on Medicine, or NYLF. And through that program, I was able to learn about medicine in China and in Australia. When you have, I was asked the principal or the head of the school, what was the theme? And the theme is building the future of excellence. And I want you to know that excellence means different things to different people. You cannot compare your life to anyone else's life. You cannot compare your dream to anyone else's dream. And you cannot compare your accomplishments with anyone else's accomplishments. <laughs> Because at the end of your time, you just want to say, I live a life of happiness and excitement. For me, excellence meant being able to travel. Excellence meant being able to travel on someone else's dime. <laughs> it also meant being in media and being able to tell not just my story, but other people's story when it comes to science, technology, engineering, math, or really just your story in general. And excellence meant every time that I got up and I woke up, I was happy to get out of bed and to do something that I thoroughly enjoyed doing. And at this time, I had my own show where I interviewed diverse people in STEM, but I was also on a show called Genius with Stephen Hawking. So although my show was here in the San Francisco Bay Area, 
my face was seen internationally through BBC. So when I say a level of excellence that I wanted to achieve, check. Okay? <laughs> with, uh, as I said, with NYLF, I was able to go to China and Australia. But last year, I was able to go to New Zealand with a bunch of geologists and learn about geology. And I was also able to go to Alaska and sail the Bering Sea and learn about oceanography. And I didn't pay a dime. Check. <laughs> and, and to this day, I get to meet some of the most interesting people in STEM. So I can call some of my closest friends, people who work at NASA, Boeing, who work at UC Berkeley, Stanford, who live in Asia, New Zealand, Australia, and all over the world. And I can call them at any moment and say, tell me your story so I can tell everyone else what it took to get to your level. Now, it took a lot of years and a lot of hard work to get to this point. And I must tell you that I am not done. That's I fine. enjoy getting out of bed every morning and learning about different people and different stories. But not just that, being able to share their stories with everyone else. I enjoy having my own business and being an entrepreneur, and I'm living in my excellence. Now, I have friends, plenty of friends, who if you look at them and you look at me, they are surpassed me. They're doing such great things and in their businesses and in their world, but that's not my world, and that's not my level of excellence. So again, I want you to remember that in the end, it's not where you start, it's where you're going. Because you haven't gotten there yet, I haven't gotten there yet either. You have plenty of time to work on what you wanna do and how you wanna do it. Now, it's gonna take hard work. There's gonna be ups, there's gonna be downs. There's gonna be success and there's gonna be failures. And what, you, what sets you apart from everyone else is when you fall, do you get back up? Mm -hmm. And now when someone tells you, you can't do something, like go to UCLA, mm -hmm. can you say, well, that's cool, that's your opinion, Come on. but I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, you can appreciate anyone's opinion about you, but their opinion does not set who you are and what you can do. Just because it takes you a little bit longer, just if it, in case it takes you a little bit more time or a little bit more energy than the next person, so what? You did it. You're mm -hmm. gonna do what you need to do to get to where you need to be. And all I wanna leave you with this. You're from Oakland, California. So am I. And so what? <laughs> you can do whatever you wanna do, go wherever you wanna go, and be whatever you wanna be. No one, no one here, no one out in the world is going to stop you, okay? So make sure that you understand that in the end, the only person you really have to take care of is you, and you are in charge of your happiness. So you got a long way to go because you're just graduating high school, but you can get to my age and you're still not going. I mean, you're still going. You still have a lot to do. So. I want to say again, congratulations to you. Thank you to all the family and friends who are here to support. They need you now and in the future. And it's okay to shake your hand and tell your story. And I want to leave you with this. In order for me to do the things that I've done in my life, I had to speak up and say, this is what I want. Because filming, and traveling is all because I said, you know what, I want to do that. How do I get to do that? And ask the question. So good luck on your journey. Congratulations again. And I hope that you guys have a great life.